tonight, the league and all of us here at 2K Sports celebrate Noche Latina, an opportunity to spotlight the amazing Latin culture in the NBA and its global fan base. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the San Antonio Spurs here at their home, AT&T Center. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter, Ali LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Brandon Ingram. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. And let's go straight over to the sideline for a report before they tip off. Hey, Ali. Well, Fred Van Vliet, a first-time All-Star in 2021, said of his journey, quote, it's like a movie storyline, just scratching and clawing, all the work and the sacrifices. I'm always going to have this great perspective that allows me to navigate differently and helps me succeed. Brian? Ali, his toughness and IQ, a big factor for them. Thanks for that. And we talk a lot about momentum heading into the postseason. But then you see teams resting their players, willing to take a few losses, Smith. Well, B.A., the reason why is you have veteran stars who know how to win in the playoffs. Health tends to be your number one concern for those guys. But for young upstarts, momentum can make the difference, especially in that first series. Here are the starters for Houston. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Then it's Reggie Bullock. Then it's Jalen Green. And it's Thompson in at the point. And for San Antonio. Fred Van Vliet out there with DeJounte Murray. Then it's Andre Drummond. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Brooks in at the three. The small forward. On offense, here is San Antonio. Outside Ingram. Three-pointer. The shot no good. And it's Houston the other way. Here's Bullock. What are you doing? And it's off from three-point range. Pass to Brooks. Here's Van Vliet. 4-3. Buries it from three. Well, Fred could do this all day. He's that confident in his long-range shooting. Inside. Here's Shangoon. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Drummond with the screen. Ingram, the pass to Drummond. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Thompson pulls it in. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Uh -huh. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Green. Not giving the shooter a clean look. Ingram's lip is a problem. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Outside Ingram. The three. No good that time. And it's Ugh. Houston the other way. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. Ah. Out of bounds. Houston will have it. And now we have a chance to recognize our player of the month for the Western Conference, Brandon Ingram. He's a great example of what a modern big looks like. He's so much more than just a big in the paint. And that versatility is a big part of what makes him such an outstanding player. Boy, you look at Come on. All the two and they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. People were worried that this was silly. The previous play is two shots. The NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let no. his players know he's got their oh. back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, <laughs> he'll back them up. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. Yes. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Yeah. Murray against Thompson. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, shit. San Antonio again missing. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. Let's it go. That shot off the mark. So the Spurs will take it the other way. They traveled to Houston last time they faced the Rockets. Hey. Came away with a win. 
and they came away with the win because everyone contributed. The starters, the bench, they all played as a unit. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. And here's Thompson for three. The Rockets again can't hit. For San Antonio, they've gone only one of six so far. Spins. Here's Murray. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You know, I feel a lot of players get labeled as guys who can do a little bit of everything. But Dante Murray has more than earned that label. Both good from the line that time. It really has been striking the improvement Murray's shown every year, Smitty. B.A., his scoring keeps going up. His assists are up. He's one of the best rebounding point guards in this league. And his confidence is trending up just like his stats. Here's Shangun. And another miss by Houston. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Outside Ingram. Over Green. Here's Drummond. Oh, the jam by Drummond. What well, makes Drummond a great rebounder, not just the size and athleticism, it's his tremendous anticipation. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Outside, uh. green. Off target with the three. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. I'll fall fouls, man. It's starting to piss me off a little bit. <laughs> I, I can't control that. 14 points for him last game against Memphis. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Van Vliet, the pass to Murray. The three is up. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Murray. Van Vliet's got his second bucket on the night. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Now a timeout called by Houston. And you look at the numbers Murray puts up, Grant. He's a threat to post a triple-double on any given night. And I love that about him, B.A. I mean, he brings it in every aspect of the game. He doesn't hunt stats. The game just finds him. With his steal rate, might be the best bet to put up a quadruple-double in the league one day. Holiday's checked in for the Rockets. Nice steal. Shangun against Ingram. Pass to Brooks. What the fuck? And here's Ingram. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. Holiday from long range. Rebounded by Ingram. And here are the Spurs now. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Brooks, the pass to Drummond. Brooks against Holiday. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. And that's two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. The Rockets trail. Now Holiday. From 10 feet away. Here's Landale. And he buries his first look. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. The Spurs have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Murray up top. He's covered by Holiday. And it's Murray finishing it off. I just love this kid's fearlessness. Goes right at him. Draws contact. It doesn't matter to him. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Tate. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Thompson against Murray. And 
the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Hey, I got to admit, I like how the Rockets are approaching their rebuild. This summer, drafting Jabari Smith and Tari Eason, two versatile forwards to go with the other young talents. It feels like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. Outside Tate. Shot from 12. And Ingram with the block. With that 7-3 wingspan, Brandon Ingram is having no trouble getting to that shot. How much mustard on that hot dog do you really need? I know he's going for the big finish, but he didn't need to do all that. Rebounded by Ingram. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Van Vliet misses. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Up top, Thompson. Launches a three. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It's going to go on Andre Drummond and Smitty Greg Popovich. You played for his 27th season as coach of the Spurs. How many more do you think he has in him? Well, B.A., he's, he's accomplished everything one could hope to in his career. I mean, he has five titles, B.A., most wins in NBA coaching history. Now he's just coaching for the love. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Timeout called. Houston. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Well, oh. no good. And Houston will come the other way. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Over to the left wing, Landale. The Rockets again can't hit. San Antonio has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Pass to Ingram. Let's it go from deep. Huh. Able to get that one. His offensive output just isn't there tonight, but his teammates have found a way to pick up the slack. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. On offense, here are the Spurs. They're on a 16 to six run. Fires the three. Grabs the board. The what? green light they gave him early <laughs> should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. <sighs> All right, let's look at the last handful of seasons and the steals numbers for Andre Drummond. And when you see the decline his steal totals have taken the last few years, you can see that he's not playing that type of gritty, intense D that he's used to. That's a part of his game he needs to bring back. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I love competing against his teams. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Green is checked in. Here's Porter. He can't get that one to fall. And Houston will come the other way. Puts up a three. Covington grabs the board. San Antonio leading. 30 seconds left in the opening quarter. Porter finds Covington. Oh, he missed uh. the layup. He had it with the pump fake. On the wing, Holiday. He's guarded by Porter. Hits a three-pointer. He has seven. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. shot from the top of the key and the Spurs lead by six and so it's San Antonio with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter and for those of you just tuning in 
second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, before we move on, what do you think about the Spurs at this point? Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Robert Covington is out there with Otto Porter. Then there's Josh Richardson. Then there's Gordon Hayward. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. That's the San Antonio Five. Here's Green. Substitution for the Rockets. Reggie Hayes. Tries the nine-footer. Here's Smith. Oh, Covington with a block. <laughs> All over, guys. I like watching Covington be a S on the defensive end. Nice. Here's Green. Smith with a screen on Richardson. Green with the ball. Now Porter defending. And stolen by Covington. Down low. And the jam by Covington. Give Josh credit. Taking the challenge offensively. Discipline. And that's a beautiful pass. Green against Richardson. Go, Josh. Go. Oh, stolen by Richardson. It's rebounded by Houston. Pass to Thompson. Up top, Smith. Fires from deep. Kept alive. Huh. Second shot opportunity. And Thompson with a lay-in. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. Now here's Hayward. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And there's the rejection. Richardson against Green. Shangun, the screen. Green against Richardson. Shangun. He buries it from three. Shangun's got five now. You know, in baseball, Graham, they have a term, a five tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. You need those well-rounded players to succeed. Ah, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's all about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can shoot, pass, dribble, defend, and rebound. And I'll throw it even in there, lead, and play selfless basketball. Uh. Those kind of guys that can do it all, that's a recipe for success in the NBA. Here's Thompson. Nice D from Hayward. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Richardson, no good. Yeah. Houston has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. The three, Smith. <laughs> that one doesn't drop. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 11. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. Great offensive game plan in that one. They put their guys in positions to succeed. And it really paid off. They understood what the defense was trying to take away. And game plan a great strategy to take advantage of. I just love the aggressive finish. Well, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. From deep Hayward. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got four rebounds now. Porter with the steal. They're running. Here's Richardson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. When you look at Richardson's skill set, you look at his size, you think, man, this guy could be a great 3 and D player. Ingram's checked in for Porter Jr. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. You look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and, of course, shooting. And Smith Jr. has all of that and more. Richardson to three. That's uh. it. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Richardson's got eight here in this quarter. Though Richardson's improved his ball handling, he's still more comfortable in catch and shoot. Oh, Covington nope. with a block. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's Ingram. And the shot goes down. And it's a 10-point Spurs lead. Well, you mentioned the shooting, Grant. 
Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A., I mean, among his many skills, that one probably stands out the most. But I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lot. What? That's all ball, man. Down, defender, one through five. You know, not the smartest. I guess my guy's not allowed to like move to the air. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for San Antonio. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. And we gotta also mention their intensity on defense so far. I mean, the number of steals they've collected has been substantial. Richardson for three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Timeout call. Houston. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. And it's the Rockets with the ball. 11 point game. Outside Tate for three. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Back to Richardson. It's Hayward on the wing. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Yeah, a quality shooter from beyond the arc. Can't let Hayward get room to fire from the corners. Here's Green. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Andre Drummond. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. First one falls for him. When a team is underperforming, coaches are often the first people called into question. Is that fair, Smitty? Uh, in some cases, it is fair, but I'll break it down like this, B.A. It always starts at the top. From coaching to your best players, they're always going to get the blame. Landale's checked in for Marjanovic. Here's Drummond. No good. What? Along that time. Houston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Tate. Tries a 10-footer. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. He misses the free throw. The Spurs making a switch here. Favors is checked in. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. He hits the second from the line. For San Antonio, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Launches it. Tate grabs the board. Well, Houston's shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Josh Richardson. The first one falls. That one misses, so he goes one for two. San Antonio has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. It's Hayward on the wing. And the three off target. Hayward's gone one of three shooting so far. Pass to Tate. Here's Landale. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Tate. Rebound San Antonio. Hayward with it. Coming off a 16-point game against Indiana. Here's Ingram. Misses the fadeaway. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Nice D from Hayward. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Strong move by Brandon. He's playing with such great confidence these days. Guarded by Richardson. Rebounded by Ingram. San Antonio has gone 7 for 17 from three point range so far in this matchup. Back to Jones. Takes a three. And they recover it. Ingram against Tate. Clock at six. 
The shot by Ingram, no good. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. They get it back. Count it. He's got nine. Too easy for a guy of his caliber. The D must put up more of a fight down there. And you have other methods as well. You could deny or you can just front the post. You know, Brandon Ingram has turned himself into a dominant three or four in this league. His versatility has him playing all around the floor. Well, Smitty asked for Ingram playing a bigger role the last few years. And that role huge on the offensive side. B.A. averaging over 20 points per game the last three seasons, becoming a real headache for the defense. On the wing, Richardson back to Ingram. There's 48 seconds left in the second period. The shot, no good. Pass to Holiday. The 11-footer. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Green. And the layup is good off the glass. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And here's Ingram from the arc. Oh my gosh. They say it was last touch by Ingram. Fournier's checked in for San Antonio. Smith, he's checked in for the Rockets. Thompson comes in for Holiday. And it's Gordon Hayward with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now, and they'll go to the line. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. You gotta like how energetic Jabari Smith is. A young guy who is fired up and ready to prove to the entire league just how good he could be. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Great game for him. Double-double now. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. <laughs> wow. Smith going for a slam. He wants everyone to know that he's arrived. From deep three-point range. No good. Misses at the buzzer. A big-time effort for Brandon Ingram. Providing a... God. Like every game now they've had that shit. Hey everybody. Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. Looking at San Antonio, they're right where they want to be, and they're right where they should be. Now it's a matter of getting everything in place for the title. These guys will be tough to beat in a seven-game series. And we come back to the game at hand in the first half. Plenty to like for the San Antonio Spurs. Everything going their way on the offensive end. Their stars are beasting, Shaq. Beasting. And I know you had a couple nights like that yourself. I was on every night. Ernie, can you believe this guy? No, I think he makes a very valid point. No, remember 1995, Shaq? Yeah, I remember that night. Kareem mm, Elijah. Oh, okay, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny, you you. you. You won one series, but you have two and I have four. So there's two more than you. And four <laughs> more there. So both of you, shut it up. <laughs> and that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. That was young Shaq, too. I mean, Prime Shaq would annihilate the Rockets. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Please give me the ball. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with the 2K? Leading. So the Houston Five right now. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Then it's Reggie Bullock, then it's Green, and it's Thompson in at the one. God damn it. And it's Houston's ball. It's stolen by Ingram. The three is up. 
gets the three to fall. Ingram's got 14 points. The work that Ingram puts in lifts his team's play. Always there to support the break. Pass to Thompson. Fires the three. The rebound by the Spurs. Drummond's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Cross is over. Porter shot is off. <sighs> and for the Rockets, they're shooting a low 30% from the floor. Shengun with it. Fades. They get it back. Jesus. I love the relentless attitude he showed there. Got himself in great position under the glass. They had the presence of mind to know exactly where the rebound was going. Ingram, the pass to Drummond. Jones up top. Ingram on the wing. Covered by Smith. The shot by Ingram, no good. The Rockets have gone just one of three in the second half. And there is a whistle that goes on Otto Porter. That's his first foul. Rose has checked in for Jones. Outside, green. Pass to Smith. shang in the post. Drummond's there. Smith no good. Now here's Ingram. Covered by Smith. The shot by Ingram. No good. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. And it's stolen by Rhodes. Outside Ingram. And here's Porter, defended by Shingu. And there's Porter on the assist by Ingram. Five points in the game. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Here's Green. And no good. Some solid defense from Ingram. San Antonio has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. From behind the arc. Uh -huh. The Rockets pull it in. Thompson's got nine rebounds now. The Rockets trail. Pass to Green. Looking to get it going. Oh, oh, did you see the finish? Oh. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Ingram on the wing. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Tough inside. Ingram's got a lot of moves he can beat you with. And the Rockets making a change here. Tate's checked in. Good on the second one. And the Rockets with possession here. They trail by seven. Green with the ball. Picked up by Fournier. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul of the game. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. And here's Tate outside. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Rose, the pass to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. A well-coordinated athlete. Drummond rolls off the screen, ready to finish. The Rockets have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Up top, Thompson, guarded by Rose. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got 11 rebounds in the game. Ingram, the pass to Porter. From deep, Rose. Counted from distance. And now a nine-point Spurs lead. Sometimes Derrick Rose is usually hit or miss. But when he's on, look out. Here's Thompson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one's on Rose. That free throw's good from Thompson. Landale's checked in for Shengu. Both free throws good from Thompson. For San Antonio, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Fournier. Porter with a screen on Smith. Ingram with a deep three. Uh -huh. The Rockets pull it in. To the paint. It's stolen by Ingram. In transition. And there's the lay-in. Ingram's got six in the quarter. Let's look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Spurs. Their defense. It's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. 
being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. Well, another thing to look at is their impressive block numbers. They have not been giving shooters an easy time tonight, knocking away lots of shots. Now a timeout called by Houston. Boy, without question, Brandon Ingram displaying his skills today. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. And the Rockets making a change here. Green for three. It doesn't go for him. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Intercepted. Pass to Thompson. Here's Landale. And here's Tate outside. The Rockets again can't hit. San Antonio has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Back comes Houston in transition. Here's Thompson. Kept alive by Houston. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Left side Ingram. Oh, Damn. By Tate. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Tate's got the second bucket on the night. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Houston has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. To the inside. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Huh. Thompson with a steal. He's guarded by Porter. The shot that time, not on target. Jesus Stolen Christ. And he lays it in on the break. Thompson's got 11 points. Talk about making halftime adjustments. We love what they're doing with him now offensively. Here's Ingram. Rockets with a rebound. Covered by Ingram. Here he goes. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Pass to Drummond. Takes the three. Tate grabs the board. Tate's got a rebound number five here tonight. Now Thompson. Back to Tate. Green for three. Oh, through the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. And he's good on the first of three. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. A different look for San Antonio. Richardson comes in for Fournier. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Rose. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Green Feel this, motherfucker. And it's Murray finishing it off. And for those who criticize Drummond facilitating, I say rewatch that play. He's improving. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Here's the break. And it's Murray finishing it off. Woohoo! Just great work for cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the line for two. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Murray against Thompson. Murray, no good. The Rockets trail. Thompson outside. Outside. Green. No good on the three. San Antonio has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Thompson with some nice D. Houston has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. There's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. 12 points for him. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Murray passes to Ingram. Murray against Thompson. Pass to Drummond. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Drummond's got four points now in the quarter. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Thompson. Green for three. The rebound by Murray. 
The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team, and sometimes you just try to do too much. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. No luck on that one. Nice D from Thompson. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. Both free throws good from Thompson. If they want to come away with a victory, they just need to keep knocking down those free throws. Pass to Drummond. To the middle. Here's Porter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. A strong all-around talent, relatively still young and still growing. Porter getting himself to the line. And he's good on the second. There's 10 seconds left to play in the third. To the inside, here's Shangun. Comes up empty, down low. A big-time effort for Brandon Ingram, providing a lot of energy for San Antonio. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got DeJounte Murray. Andre Drummond is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Otto Porter, and it's Richardson in at the two-guard spot. That's the San Antonio Five. Pass to Porter. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Shangun. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Bullock's shot is off. San Antonio leading. Here's Drummond. Rebounded wow. by Green. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's foul number two for him. A different look for San Antonio. Covington's checked in for Ingram. And it's Gordon Hayward in for Porter Jr. Thompson outside. Oh, rejected by Drummond. was well timed get that shot out of here Drummond staying patient waiting for the right moment to pounce Brandon Ingram is checked in for Richardson Green's checked in for the Rockets Thompson finds Shangun back to Thompson Shangun the screen pass to Bullock shot clock at three fires for three on target from range he's really finding his rhythm here i mean smart move to keep feeding him the ball let him decide whether to shoot it whether to pass it he's your catalyst right now they were good exchanging buckets from downtown that's been a staple of tonight's game hey players love competition and the fans love it as well. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message to that jam. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. I love how DeJounte Murray plays with reckless abandon. He is fearless with his body. And that can often give him an edge against the deep. in the post covered by Ingram here's Shangun what the thought travel Back to Smith and he drops in the layup off the glass and you want him taking good shots at this point in the game and that one was easy and I don't think he expected to get that good of a look poor communication defensively the shot by Ingram no good and the truth is I've been there he's trying to find the rhythm on his shot he feels like he's close and that's why he keeps shooting it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. San Antonio on D. They've led by as many as 14. And stolen by Green. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's number four on him. He's still got a little wiggle room, but if he picks up a fifth, that could be a problem. And the Spurs making a change here. Richardson's checked in. 
over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Bullock. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. And that ties it up. And that's a club. Oh my god, are they doing that shit again? A shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? This is a good shit so San far. Antonio decides to talk it over. Alright, let's get a report from Ali. Well over the break I listened in on Greg Popovich's huddle. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. To understand the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. Thompson with it. Checked by Murray. And a strong finish with two hands. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Thompson against Murray. Pass to Shangun. Beyond the arc. Another three from Houston. All right, guys. What's your take on the hustle stats for Houston? Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. Well, they've also been impressive, forcing a ton of mistakes. Not only that, but converting those mistakes into points on the other end. That one falls, so he hits both of them. So it's the Rockets now. Three-point lead. And Richardson comes to help. And stolen by Covington. Smith against Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's a great job drawing the foul, getting to the line. Murray's crafty, especially for his age. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. A clear look for Green. Rebounded by the Spurs. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Richardson. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Houston has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Shangun, a screen on Richardson. Pass to Shangun. Jacks up a three. Doesn't go for him. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Drummond with the ball. Hayward for three. That one's in there. Drummond with the assist. Hayward's got six here in the quarter. Hey, numbers don't lie. Catch and shoot equals high percentage. Gordon Hayward with a great look. Now here's Green. Pass to Shengu. Now Smith. Five on the clock. Knocked away. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Now the Spurs moving it up the floor. Ah. Here's Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. And he's now got the double-double. You know, every night he plays through a lot of bumps and bruises. Drummond reminds me of Shaq in that respect. Green with the ball. And Drummond picks him up defensively. That was a clever move. Slicing his way past the taller defender and finishing with some flavor. Pass to Covington. Hayward for three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside, Green. Out to Thompson. The three ball. The rebound by the Spurs. They've led by as many as 14. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. There's the triple. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist from Covington. And now it's an eight-point San Antonio lead. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. This is what Murray gives you. Length and speed at both ends. That's a terrific play. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the Spurs making a change here. Ingram's checked in. The Rockets have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Green for three. And the call will be against Alperon Shengu. That's his first foul of the game. Here's San Antonio now. What a stretch they've got going here. 17 to 2. The shot by Ingram, no good. 
we all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his fifth foul. Green against Ingram. Left side, Green. Pass to Thompson. And stolen by Murray. Just an unacceptable turnover. You have to know where you are on the court. You know he's kicking himself. And he might hear it from the coach at the next timeout. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then it goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Hayward with it. Back to Covington. Outside Ingram. It's Covington on the wing. They get the rebound. Drummond. And Drummond with the jam. There's not many that dunks it as powerful as Andre Drummond. He's explosive at 280 pounds. Green against Ingram. And it's Green missing. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Thompson against Ingram. From outside the arc. Rockets with a rebound. Tangoon's got a rebound number five here tonight. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Spurs. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. That's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And their win total will climb a little higher once this one's official. It'll be their 63rd win of the year. That'll put a little extra meaning on their next game. No team wants to go 0 for 4 against an opponent, no matter who it is. Pass to Shangun. The three from Thompson. Connects from downtown. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Thompson's shot is off. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're up by 14. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Ingram. He shoots it. And he gets the jumper to drop. Amazing how Ingram has emerged as one of the league's best scorers. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Brandon Ingram. Oof, shooting so bad lately. the win that's all that matters